What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at this wireless charger, the Roken Wave, and why I think wireless charging is something everybody should consider. But before we jump into that, I just want to say if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to Plug and Play. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. But without further ado, let's jump into the review. So I haven't done a review of a wireless charger before, right? Technology that I absolutely love, I haven't reviewed it. So why am I starting today? That's a great question. In the next couple weeks, I'm going to be reviewing a pair of true wireless earbuds that actually have wireless charging built into the case, which is awesome. It's a great feature that I haven't really experienced yet on any other pair of true wireless earbuds. And so I'm excited about it. So I figured why not talk about the technology behind that before we get to it. So if you haven't seen the video that I made just recently about what wireless charging is, you'll see that popping up over my head. So I'd recommend you check that out. If you don't know what wireless charging is, or you want to learn a, bit, a little bit more about how it works, check out that video. The Roken Wave is awesome in the sense that it's got a nice black matte finish. Um, it's got great little rubberized feet on the bottom, which give it stability, keep it from sliding off your desk. Um, I particularly like that. A lot of uh, wireless chargers don't actually have a rubberized bottom. And I find, especially like the one I have on my uh, nightstand in my room, it actually slides around. When I reach over and put my phone on it, it slowly but surely gets farther and farther and farther away. And so that's honestly, surprisingly enough, having rubberized skid pads on the bottom is actually a huge benefit. So the Roken Wave, one benefit of it also is that it's USB-C powered. Now, I this is kind of a pro and con, you know, kind of thing. At this point right now, because the wattage on this is not super, super high, it's a five watt wireless charger, which is, which is standard. That's a standard wireless charging speed. Um, they're getting up to 15 watts and there's rumors of technology going up to 40 watts, which will just charge your phone even faster, which is absolutely amazing. So standard five watt charging speed. So it's not gonna be the fastest wireless charger on the market solid standard standard speed um, but the cool thing is, is that it's got the USB-C now the USB-C if this was a higher watt uh, charger so if this was a 15 watt charger that would play a huge key role in it uh, because you can get more power into the pad to help power that 15 watts of charge however in this scenario I think the only reason why it's kind of a benefit in my opinion is the fact that because I use a Samsung Galaxy S9 plus all of the chargers that I are uh, cables that I currently have existing are USB-C. So basically this is compatible with any cable that I'm currently using. So another thing that I really do like about the Roken Wave is the fact that the little basic blue LED indicator on the front is it breathes when you're charging. So what that means is um, instead of having like a changing color light, so from red to blue or to green from red or yellow or things like that, when it's charging, it does a nice slow pulse of the LED indicator showing you that it is indeed charging. The only negative side to the Roken Wave in that same aspect is the fact that the blue LED is always on perpetually. So this does two things. One, yes, I understand that it tells you basically that there is power going to the charging pad. But on the negative side, if you put this somewhere on like a bed stand or something like that, you constantly have this bright blue LED on all night long. If you're like me, I like pitch black. I like it as dark as possible. Um, I put stickers, black sticker tape over things that light up like my TV logo, um, some indicators on some of my TV boxes and things like that. I have black electrical tape to block out that light. And so in this perspective, one negative that I do have with this wireless charger is the fact that the blue LED is consistently on. Outside of that, it's got the matte black finish. It's got a nice Roken uh, symbol here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is those are generally placed in the very center. One, because it's aesthetically pleasing, right? And they want to brand it. But two, that's also where the magnet is. So it gives you a little bit of a visual representation of where you should align the device that you're putting on there to get the proper charge. So always make sure that the Qi charger that's in your device is lined up with the Qi charger on this pad which is under the Roken symbol here. So overall, if you're looking for a basic uh, Qi charger, if you're wanting to get into Qi charging, you want something that is Qi certified. So that's a huge thing to keep in mind as well. There's a lot of wireless chargers on the market that are not Qi certified. And what that means is they haven't gone through the, st the strict testing required to get that, that labeling. So if you want something that, I, that you know is certified, that I've tested that works really well for all of my devices, and you're wanting to get into Qi wireless charging, this guy is going to be a really good option. Now I've put links down in the description below for the the one by itself and it was also they're also sold on Amazon as a two pack so if you wanted to get one for the office and for the bedside table you can definitely do that links again are down in the description below 
So as far as I'm concerned with the Roken Wave, um, honestly, it's a nice little charger. I love the black, the matte black finish. I like the size, the shape. Um, I'm a huge fan of the rubberized feet on this. So bravo to Roken for putting rubberized non-skid little pads on here. Um, overall, five watts of charging power isn't the highest. It isn't the greatest. It's not gonna be a game changer or anything like that. But if it's something that you're going to put your phone on overnight and charge it, it's going to work just fine. So five watts of power uh, is probably the only negative that I've seen. It's USB-C powered, which is which is solid, so I don't have to buy new cables to get this thing powered. Um, and so that's really it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions about the Roken Wave or if you want to know anything about wireless charging, please throw it down in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. But other than that, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,